What's up, home slices? This is a vlog of my finals week from back in December. Listen, I know this video is very late. It just took a long time for me to edit. And by that, I mean that it took me a while to get motivation to edit, but that's okay. Also, I'm doing a voiceover on this video because I realized while editing that um, I was not very coherent in the storytelling process. It was not very streamlined and kind of disconnected, so I feel like the extra narration is necessary. Okay, I'm done rambling. Um, you can watch the video if you want. It's, I mean, it's pretty good. I like it, I think. So, okay, so what's going on? This is such an uncomfortable position. Um, yeah, so it's Friday. Um, and I have finals on Monday and Tuesday. So the two finals I have are multivariable calculus and physics C mechanics. So today I'm just gonna do some studying. It's gonna be fun, not really, but maybe. No, it won't. Also, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat some granola. All right, so let's get started. I just got a comment that says, IDKY, you look like my science teacher, LOL. So love that for me. I have here the first practice final. Um, it's kind of lit in here, not really. Of course, the first thing we have to do is turn on the lo-fi Christmas radio. <coughs> oh my God, that's so loud. Okay, before we begin, I would just like to say that this video is sponsored by Simple Health. Simple Health is an online birth control prescription and delivery service. This might sound a little bit weird as a sponsorship, but like, just hear me out. When I first came to college, I quickly ran into some issues regarding my birth control and uh, it wasn't good. Let me outline the situation for you. It's early October. I realize I'm running out of birth control. I call my pharmacy. I'm like, please move my prescription to the nearest CVS to my dorm. I take an hour out of my day between classes to walk all the way there, pick up my prescription, come back with it. And that's all great, right? No, it's not because while I was there, I'm being told that this is the last refill of my prescription. Basically, my doctor had only prescribed six months worth of birth control. I quickly found out that getting my doctor from back home to renew my birth control would be pretty difficult because I didn't have her phone number. Then I was like, okay, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. MIT has this uh, kind of like a urgent care clinic medical situation. It's called MIT Medical. But I was told that since I didn't buy the MIT Medical Insurance, getting a prescription from there would cost me a copay each time I went to get a refill. Now, I don't have money, so that was also not a great solution for me. So basically I was like, what am I gonna do? But then, I learned about services like Simple Health. Let me just tell you, this stuff changes the game. First of all, I don't have to talk to anyone to get a prescription. That changes the game because when I asked my doctor for a birth control prescription, she literally interrogated me and I was very uncomfortable. Second of all, it gets delivered to your door. That's another game changer because I hate walking. And literally all you have to do is like go to their website, you fill out some of your preferences, you give like a little bit of medical history, and that's basically it. And then you're like, you get birth control delivered to you. Obviously, Simple Health isn't a replacement for checkups with your doctor, but it is a much more streamlined process of obtaining effective contraceptives. And I think that's something that a lot of people need. So yeah, you can try it out for free using my code Nina or through the link in the description. That's it. Okay, on to the video. Okay, I'm about to check my answers. Um, let's hope they're right. Wait, what? Dude, it's supposed to be one negative six two, but for some reason I put one negative seven two. Oh, I'm just gonna like erase it. Six. 
So then I hopped over to the dreaded teal classroom to go to a physics review session. Let me just say that shit slapped. It was so good. I learned everything. I will explain in more detail right now. So, um, I just came back from a review session. My camera's running out of batteries. I want to talk quick, but, um, I just went to a physics review session and, like, oh my god. So, like, I haven't been paying attention in class for, like, the past month. And this guy, in two hours, he went over every single thing we learned. And now, I just know it. I learn. I've been learning. I've been learning. Learning for everyone. Education. Academics. I had a moment in there where I was like, wow. I'm learning. Okay, well, anyway, I'm feeling good about my finals, so um, I'm gonna charge my camera battery because it's about to die. Okay, yay. I'm just chilling, low key. I was gonna do some more work today, but I'm kind of not feeling it. I have this little to-do list. I haven't done much of it, but I did some of it. And the other ones, can really just wait till tomorrow, you know what I mean? I feel like I've learned so much today. Like that one physics review session that I'm not gonna stop talking about really just, that was like enough educational like stimulation up here for like a full week. So like I'm chilling. And indeed I chilled because I did absolutely nothing for the rest of the night. I also chilled the entire next day until nighttime when I finally decided it was time to start studying. So I went to a study room and I grinded out every single physics problem there was with my newfound knowledge. So I was downstairs doing physics and um, this is dead ass one of the answers that I got that was right. Can we just appreciate how awful this is? I mean, granted, like it could probably be simplified to look a little better, but like still, it's just like I've been dealing with like this crap for the past two hours. After that, I went to sleep. As you may begin to tell, I did a very bad job distinguishing the start and end of days, and that is due to a phenomenon known as finals week, in which there are no classes, and so you wander around in the space-time continuum studying and not studying, and then studying and then not studying on repeat. So yeah, basically, the next day I woke up and studied some more, and here's that. Fucking shit! Maddie Jazz, go. baby. I'll play some lo fi for y'all. Christmas lo fi? Or is it worse? Oh, shit. Yeah, James, get out of it. Stay in it. James, this is by. Oh, oh shit. Hello. Hi. Today we decided to eat ourselves off campus. Just because campus is depressing sometimes. It really is. Especially right now. <laughs> yeah, People right now. Just like. Head in the book. Trying to go to the library, the Boston Public Library. Like a 30 minute walk. Not sure if we'll make it, but that's our goal. So we got a little sidetracked. <laughs> Went shopping. I now have this <laughs> bag full of stuff. Also, we're walking down Newbury now. It's really nice. Very pretty. So, um, we were gonna go to the library, but then we just ended up at Cafe Nero. It's really cute though, and I think it's a good studying environment, so we're gonna study now. We're back. <laughs> we were gone for like five hours. But yeah, the grind never stops. So we're gonna eat something, probably. I didn't end up doing much else that night. I kind of ran out of studying materials. So I ended up just going to bed kind of early to get a good night's sleep and prepare for the final the next morning. Okay, so 
we're going to our first final. Let's go. I haven't caffeinated yet, but I will be soon. In three hours, we'll be done with physics, and I couldn't be more excited. So happy. So then I went in and took my physics final. I decided it was probably a bad idea to film inside the testing room, so I didn't do that. The test was three hours, but I finished in two hours, so I left and celebrated, basically. I'm done with physics forever. Actually, not forever. I have physics next semester, but we're just gonna forget about that. The test was honestly pretty easy. Watch me say that and I like get a zero. Yeah, it wasn't too hard. I finished pretty fast. There's still like an hour left technically, but um, I already done everything and checked my answers, so I left. Now I'm just gonna chill. What do you think? So it was the worst no, thing I've ever experienced in my life. Which is actually. Um, <laughs> I think it was supposed to be easy for people, but I'm not people. So, um, I failed Bert. Chris, what did you think? It's like three o'clock. So it's been approximately four hours since I finished my final. I've done nothing. Actually, that's not true. I took a nap and I did my laundry. So it's like nine o'clock. No, it's not. It's like 10, I think. And I'm going to bed. I'm gonna vlog. Oh my God, hello. Oh, are you vlogging? Is that what the door is? Jasmine. Uh, no, it was closed just because I closed it. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to bed because I'm mad tired. Good night we'll vlog. See. Good night vlog. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, we're heading out. <laughs> Albert, how are we feeling? Uh, Jack, how are you feeling? I'm still Okay. <laughs> Finals are over. So I'm done with finals. That's a great feeling. But dude, that test was hard. It was a lot harder than I expected. I did not know the answers to several problems, but at some point I was just like, I need like a 20% to pass this class. Like I'm just gonna leave. Like the problems were not, it was not worth spending that extra time to like not even get the problem right, if that makes sense. So I just left. Um, I think there's around an hour and a half left in the test. So I'm just gonna chill. I don't want to do anything. My head hurts, my brain hurts. Um, dude, that final was hard. <laughs> I kind of expected to breeze through it, not gonna lie, because I actually did the studying and I studied and I did the practice test. I did basically everything I could do and it just turned out not well. So, but at least it's over. So that's it for my finals video. I'm just gonna sleep right now and I'll see you next time. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's the video. Thank you.